but now it's Westwise. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the quarter-final of Westwise, the family quiz about your town and region, introduced by Ian Brass. <laughs> Cheers of sympathy, I think. Good evening, welcome to Westwise, the West Country's fun quiz featuring questions about the West Country with contestants from the West Country. Our teams tonight are through to the quarter-finals. The first is Bodmen, and it's Daniel, first team member. Good evening. Good evening. How's things? All right, thanks. Tell me a bit about yourself. Um, my name's Daniel Rogerson, and I'm doing A-levels in English, History and Religious Studies at Bodmen Community College. And how are they going? Not too bad. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how fast you fade as we go yeah, through the, yeah. uh, the programme. Second team member is Jill. Evening. Good evening. Tell me a bit about yourself. I live near Bodmin. I'm a housewife. I enjoy gardening, walking, swimming. Lady of leisure? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Mm. I remember you well. <laughs> and final member of the Bodmin team is Eric. Good evening, Eric. Hello. Um, I work for Tor and South West College of Health as a nurse teacher. I live in Bodmin. Um, Three years, last three years I've lived in Excellent. Right. You're jolly good. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Bodmin team. <laughs> right in this quarter final, up against them, doing battle, our Penzance. Tamara. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Tell me a bit about yourself. I'm doing A levels at the moment at Penwick College in Penzance. <laughs> and they are going all right, are they? Yeah, they're going okay. Yeah, she's confident. <laughs> yes. Let's hope the questions and the answers come flowing from you. Second team member uh, for Penzance is John. Hello. Good evening. Tell me a bit about yourself. I'm John Pender. I come from Mausel, which is a village just outside Penzance, where I was born and bred, and I still sing with Mausel Male Voice Choir. Aha! No, don't do it, Ian. Oh. Don't, no, 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 no. And the third Penzance team member is Jim. Good evening, Jim. Good evening. Jim Batten, born in Newlyn, lived, worked and married in Penzance. Three children and six grandchildren so far. So far? <laughs> well, no, no. I was going to ask you, are you thinking of adding to it? No, it doesn't matter. No, no, no that'll we'll do move on. That'll do no, we'll <laughs> not for me to say. No, of course not. Uh, later in our show, we present the very popular historical bite section. It's a sketch featuring Malcolm and Terry, the Westwise players, and all the teams are competing for this specially commissioned cut glass royal Briarly bowl. There it is. That's the prize. Off we go, moving into our place name round. It's round one. I'll give you three possible origins of a name. You have to give me its real meaning. Your place name, Bodmin, is Cardinum. There it is on your screen, Cardinum. Is it A, Carding Village? Is it B, Breton's Castle? Or is it C, Fort in Fortified Town? So there they are, Cardingham. A, Carding Village, B, Breton's Castle, or C, Fort in Fortified Town? So, who's going to answer? <laughs> Just keep passing it over. Yeah, well, C. C. Fort in Fortified Town is correct. Well done. Well done, Jill. Right. Place name for you, Penzance. Your place name is Newlyn. Newlyn, is it Fleet Pool? A. Fleet Pool. Is it B. New Elling? That's B. New Elling. Or is it C. New Lion, the place where new parish boundaries were. So there's A, Fleet, Fleet Pool, Pool, B, yes, New Elling, right. or C, New Lion. Well, I hazard a guess at it being Fleet Pool. Hazard a guess at Fleet Pool? You're from <laughs> Newlyn. You should know that one, Fleet Pool. Well done. Well done, Jim. Right. Excellent. Our famous face round for you now, Bodmin. Appearing on your monitors and screens at home in a moment, a famous face. We have zoomed in on the eyes of that face, and as we pull back to reveal more of it, the more we reveal, the less points you get. Bobbin, here are your eyes. Soon as you know, have any oh. idea... Oh, I'm five. Oh, my goodness, who was that? Was, me. was that you, Daniel? Oh, yes. Oh! <laughs> I'm in trouble now. 
I think it's Paddy Ashdown. You think it's Paddy Ashdown? I haven't got a clue. On eyes alone, I cannot tell. Four, three, two, one. Oh, it's Paddy Ashdown. <laughs> what a five! What a five! Oh, <laughs> come on, Penzance. Right, on your monitors and screens. And screens at home at the moment, a famous face. Zoomed in on the eyes, the same for you. As we pull back, we reveal more of it. The more we reveal, the less points you get. Penzance, here are your eyes for five. Press as soon as you've any ideas. Four. Oh, oh, there's an, there's an ear. Three points. Two points. One point. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, yeah, on the one point, Jeffrey John. Archer, on the one point. Jeffrey Archer? Jeffrey Archer, yes, <laughs> correct. <laughs> Oh. oh, a big five from Bobman on that round. How hysterical bite part of the programme. Malcolm and Terry will give you clues via a little sketch. To answer a question I'll give you in a moment, you have to listen carefully and watch closely. Welcome the Westwise players, Bobman. I say, old chap, hey. do you need any special training to be a street cleaner? No, you just pick it up as you go along. <laughs> here, you can tell a lot about people from what they leave in your dustbins, you know. Really? Yeah, have a look in here, for instance. What have we got here? Look at that. Good oh, yeah. it's an old truncheon. So uh, it is. Look, somebody's old hat. Look yes, like that. an old hat. What's that? Oh, look at that pair of size 14s down there. Yeah. <laughs> well, who do you think lives here, then? Old Bill. <laughs> <laughs> right, Bobman. For the first time in the 19th century, Devon Great Consul's mine was the world's most important source for which metal? Copper. Copper. Reckon copper? copper. All yeah. the clues were there. Yeah. Old Bill is there. It's copper. Well done. <laughs> for you, Penzance, also a hysterical bite. Malcolm and Terry giving you clues. A question I'll give you in the moment. Once again, the Westwise players. The trouble with you English is that you're all living in the past. And what makes you say that? Mm. Well, your monarchy is out of date. But, old chap, if we didn't have our monarchy, we'd be just like you. Exactly. We Americans declared independence and got rid of your limey royalty. Oh, right then, Penzance. All the clues were there. <laughs> In which South Coast resort would you find a long stone jetty known as the Cobb? In which South Coast Lime resort Lime would you Regis find a long stone jetty known as the Cobb? Lime Regis. Lime Regis, Jim. Correct. Well done. <laughs> well done. Hometown round. Give us a buzz if you know. All the questions feature your hometown. Bobmin, yours first. Which former debtor's prison is now... <laughs> is that you, Daniel? No. <laughs> oh. oh, it was you, Jill. What are you going to say? It's the Hole in the Wall pub. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> the Hole in the Wall. <laughs> the full question, the former debtor's prison. It is now a popular local inn, the Hole in the Wall. Well done, well done, Penzance. Who marched to London in 1987? Who marched to London in 1987? And that's your hometown question. Who marched to London in 1987? Was it Ian Botham? Is he ever a tin miner? No. <laughs> no. Been many, many things, has Ian, but tin miners to petition Parliament. Right, back with Bobmin. Which famous family? It's a family home near to Bobmin. It is known as the Grand Old Lady of Cornish Houses. <laughs> Daniel. Family. I think that if the house is land hydrant, then it's the Robarts. What are you trying to tell me? The Robarts. <laughs> it's the family. It's a family home. Yeah. Well, give me the name of the home. Land hydrant. That's it. Okay. <laughs> well done, Daniel. <laughs> I like making them perspire somewhat. <laughs> land hydrant. Excellent. Very well done. Right, Penzance. Right. Which famous maritime landmark was opened in 1870, the stonework for which was fashioned on the quayside of Penzance? It was a famous maritime landmark 
was opened in 1870, the stonework for yeah. which was fashioned on the quayside of Penzance. John. It was at the Bishop Rock Lighthouse. <laughs> oh, the Wolf Rock wolf. Lighthouse. Oh. 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 Bob Mim, back with you. The Mayor's accounts for 1660 record the following. Considerable expenditure in beers, buns, wine and bonfires in the streets. Why? <laughs> Jill? It was when Charles I was beheaded. Um, At the winning of the Civil War. Okay, how many more do you want to give me? <laughs> uh, just give me a couple more. No, to celebrate the coronation of Ching King Charles II. King Charles II, after the Commonwealth had fallen. No. Right then, Penzance, all for you. When was the Western Union cable between Penzance and America completed? The Western Union cable between Penzance and the USA. When was that completed? When did they lay the Western Union cable? Tomorrow, are you? 1888. 88? 1888. 1880A1. 1881. Oh, only seven out. It's near about that time. Right, Bobbin. In which year was the first Tarm Academy laid on the A30? And you name the man oh, driving the machine. No, no, perhaps not. In which year was the first Tarm Academy laid on the A30? Some nice ones here. Go on. 1880. 1880. 1918. Well, I'm off you, Which historic incident occurred in the assembly room of the Union Hotel? When uh, the death of Nelson and the victory of Trafalgar was announced with the mayor down in the assembly room, the news being brought by a fishing village from the sloop uh, that had met them out off Land's End. From the Minstrel's Gallery. All there. Excellent. Very well done. Yeah. Well done, Jim. <laughs> Excellent. Nelson's victory and death at Trafalgar are announced from the Minstrel's Gallery there. Right, that's the home team round. A little bit of adding up to do. We'll leave you for a break. We'll be back in a moment. The scores are... Right, Penzance, four. Bodmin with nine. Welcome back to Westwise. When you left us, the scores were Penzance 4, but in the lead with 9, Bodmin. <laughs> right, what's the use round? We have a what's the use round. One, two, three. Oh, I have the lot. It's all in the box. Hold it all up. Right, if you, if you, want, if you want to join together at home, We'll give you, uh, don't look now, we're going to give you a picture at home of what it is. If you want to play along with Bodmin, look back now. <laughs> There's a few bits missing, you won't be able to make anything from it. But yes, it, they do all fit together. They do fit together. Yeah, that, we, yeah, they are small parts of a large yeah. machine. I suppose yeah. I could I'll tell you that. It's not the whole thing. Mm. But um, small parts of a large machine. Danny, what do you reckon? <sighs> or, or Jill? Or Eric? I thought it was a, um, part of a. Hang on, what did you use? <laughs> a clock, a clock we thing. We're not a, clock. a big town clock, you know, something like that. A big, a big town clock. Yeah. May, maybe, maybe from Bodmin. Maybe. maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no. Ah. Uh. Um, fragments of the Babbage Difference Engine. Oh. <laughs> of course. Of course, see, you knew that, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to picture up on your screens of what it looked like. There you are, the Babbage Difference Engine, the very first computer. Didn't give us the right bits, you know. <laughs> Daniel's a little annoyed that we no, didn't no, give no. him the right bits, he wanted the pieces on the top there. That's it. Built by Babbage, who became regarded by many as the father of the modern computer. So there. <laughs> 
Excellent one. Penzance. What's the use of that? Pass it along if you want to play along with us at home. Uh, and just want to have a little look. Uh, don't look at your screens. Turn away. This is exactly what it is. It's signed. <laughs> hey, you can turn back now. Yeah. And those who saw it haven't got a clue either. <laughs> Marks on this wheel. Still yes, it's a pulley sort of system. This is a pulley wheel. What is it? Dunscombe. Dunscombe something crystal. There's nothing much more than a block of wood or pulley. Oh! Pulley had a piece of Yeah, now copper. Be a bit careful over there, Jim. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'll break it. <laughs> yeah, that's what we we're a bit worried about. Quite old. Right, any ideas? What have you come up with? Right, time's up. Have a go. What have we got? John. <laughs> anything, anything. I think it's part of a machine for making spectacles. That's not bad, actually. It's a slide cover slip. Um, to, it's used with microscope slides. Mm. You put a ring of wax around a microscope slide, you put the two together, and it prevents the sample to be viewed through the microscope from drying out. You knew that. See? Yeah, nice try. <laughs> Everybody's dumbfounded here. <laughs> what? What was that? Where are we round? Let's brighten it up a little bit, shall we? On your monitors and screens at home, in a moment, a small part of a local view will be revealed. As we pull back, more of that view will be seen. The more we reveal, the less points you get. As soon as you can identify it, press your button. Bodmin, here's your view. Four points. <coughs> right, on three. Who buzzed? Who wants to answer? Jill? It's St. Petrox Church. Oh, don't know. Let's have a look. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, spot on. The Church of St. Petrox. <laughs> You just buzzed on three points there. Buzzed on the three points. Excellent. Uh, right. OK, Penzance, where are we? The picture coming up for you now, as soon as you've any idea. Ah, oh, on four with Penzance. It's the Davy statue. Spot on! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Even I knew that. Even I knew that. For the four points there, the Davy statue. Well done. OK, Golden Oldies with the Bobman team coming up. Picture of your area from the past. Identify the location and maybe what's happening. Here's your picture. Have a good look at that. Well, you can think of where it is. <laughs> Does that seem to be what it is? Nothing seems to be happening, does it? Yeah, the cameras are outside. Yeah. Um, the courtroom session. They would have followed the court, the cameras, you know. Would they? Judge came? Yeah, maybe. Well, there's, it's, it's Mount Folly, anyway. There's the, the yeah. county assizes, the Crown Court on the left. It's Mount yeah. Folly! That's exactly what it is! <laughs> yes! A round of applause! Exactly right! <laughs> right, Penzance, your golden oldie now. Picture will come up. All you basically have to do is uh, <laughs> tell me where it is. It's a picture of your area from the past. Identify the location and maybe what's happening. It's the, it's the harbour in Penzance, um, looking back towards uh, the Church of St Mary. So um, it, the, the harbour front is um, shown there behind yeah, the Yeah, I'll boat. put you out of your misery. That's all I needed. Ah. The harbour in 1880. Correct! Historical bite. Once again, Malcolm and Terry will give you clues via the sketch to answer a question I'll give you in a moment. Listen carefully, watch closely, as we welcome the Westwise Players, Bobmin. Peace be with you, my brother, and with you, father. What's that newt on your shoulder? This is Tiny. Why do you call him Tiny? Because he's minute. <laughs> Have you been drinking? <laughs> Where, which West Country National Hunt racecourse is left-handed rather than right-handed? Oh, 
Jill. Newton Abbott. Newton Abbott. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they were all there. All the clues were there. <laughs> Once again, Penzance, Malcolm and Terry give you clues via the sketch to answer a question I'm going to give you in a moment. The Westwise players for Penzance. No, no, son. Son, you've done it wrong. That's the trouble with you YTS lads. That's a sheep shank. I'm fed up of being your apprentice. If you ask me, this is a dead-end job. Look, I'll show you again how to make it so it's more final. <laughs> Mmm. OK, Penzance. Made in Bridport. What was the nickname? A Bridport dagger. Oh, it was a hangman's noose. Hangman's noose. <laughs> Correct. It was all there. <laughs> Whee! Yeah. Right. Out of our hysterical bite section with a score update. Hold on. Right. Penzance, ten. When Bodmin in the lead with 14. <laughs> right. OK, on the buzzers. Quick draw round. You ready, teams? What is Devon's most southerly point? Ah, the ringing of Penzance. Bolt head. <laughs> Bolt head. No, all points. Ah, Which was the last Saxon fortress to fall to William the Conqueror? Which was the last Saxon fortress to fall to William the Conqueror? Penzance. Launson. Exeter. Which exotic name did Charles I bestow on a small Somerset village after staying nearby in 1643? Which exotic name did Charles I bestow on a small Somerset village after staying nearby in 1643? Paradise. Paradise. In which year was Exmoor designated a national park? Which year was Exmoor designated a national park? Penzance. 1951. Oh, 54. Nearly there, nearly there. Which Dorset coastal town acquired its regal sounding <laughs> suffix? We'll go with Bobbin on the buzz. Um, Lime Regis. Lime Regis, excellent. Well done. <laughs> what is the name of the preserved steam railway which runs between Buckfastley and Totnes? Ah, buzzing for Bobbin. The. Um, it was there. It was there, was it? Oh, the Dark Valley Railway. Good boy, yes! <laughs> and that'll do us. <laughs> right, the final scores. Right, Penzance, 10. Bodmin, 16. <laughs> so through to the semi finals of Penzance. That's it for this week. Join us next week. We could feature a theme team from your town. Take it part in Westwise.